way up. To Angela, but I call her Ye. Way up. Yes, it's way up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee. And look who decided to show up to work today. New Mano. New Mano. I'm back, baby. Listen, we've been doing this show a few months now. Mano has been very reliable early yeah. even. Put my work in. And then yesterday, you know, calling out, you can't just not show up. No, but I told you I had an issue. I had okay. to have minor surgery on my eye. All right. Your eye's looking better. So yeah, you, it's you had coming together. I had a cyst They had to cut it out Or a sty Was it a sty or No it was a cyst It was a, a small cyst In the corner of my eye We were calling you Sty baby Sty ba- <laughs> <laughs> I'm a sty baby No more Yeah but How was the procedure It was fast They literally Put a needle in there Numbed it up Oof. And then like Cut it off Okay And then sewed it up Wow it was so smart, and I, I apologize for saying that it was nothing and that I could take care of it. <laughs> I was like, what you, No, you nothing? told me in Brooklyn Chop House yeah. the other night that you can do it. Yeah, I was like, what, that little thing? <laughs> Wait, get Dr. Pimple Popper here. <laughs> exactly. You know what I'm mad that I didn't do? I didn't have them film it. I oh, yeah. I should have had them film it. Like on the table. Because like I watched, the I watched, BBL. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I watched yeah. Dr. Pimple Popper all the time, yes. so I was like. I, I'm like, man, maybe I should have told him to film it. Why am I obsessed with watching nasty stuff like that? Yeah, I, I, lo- I love it. It is so disgusting, and the more, more disgusting, the more yeah, infatuated like, oh. I am. I even watched them. You ever seen them clean the ears? You ever seen Ooh, them take that machine yes, and go inside and the, the yes, ears? Yes, it's so disgusting. That's crazy. I had to take my grandfather to the doctor once because he said he couldn't hear anything. Right. And so I took him, and he had a dried up ball of wax that was yeah. so big in his hair. And then it was hard to pull it out because it was like stuck to the hairs in right. his hair, so it hurt. Yeah. But fortunately, he could hear after that. Of course. All right. Well, listen, that's how we're starting the show today. Shine a light on him. Maybe you want to shine a light on the doctor. <laughs> shine a light on the doctor. Everybody who... up here was concerned. Right. You know, Navy, who runs the board, he kept being like, <laughs> how is Mano's surgery? Is he okay? <laughs> I was like, what? It was a little pimple. Oh, man. <laughs> but 800-292-5150 is a number. Let us know who you want to shine a light on. Let's start it off on the right note on some positivity on a Friday. It's Way Up with Angela Yee, me and me, you know. Yeah. I'm shine. I'm a shine. Turn your lights on, y'all. Turn your lights on. Spreading love to those who are doing greatness. Shine a light on them. Shine a light on them. It's time to shine a light on them. Yes, what's up? It's Angela Yee, and it's way up with Angela Yee, and I'm here with Mano. Yeah. And um, it's time to shine a light on him. Is there anybody you wanted to shine a light on, Mano? The doctor who cut off my my sis. Your sis? Okay. Yeah, shine a light on that guy. All right, you're not going to shout out? You don't remember his name, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Whoever you are. <laughs> All right, I love it. Well, I want to shine a light on somebody, um, Jessica Sanchez. And I was talking about this deal that I did to buy this building in Detroit. And she's actually the person that made sure that the whole loan went through. There's a construction loan aspect of this, right? Mm -hmm. Because once we acquired the building, which we did earlier this week, now we have to do construction. And she's the person that helped us get the general contractor, the architect, the insurance, all the things that are necessary now that the, now that we have to get to work on rehabbing. It's cosmetic. It's Mm -hmm. not like a full gut rehab. The electric's fine. Uh, plumbing is fine, but now we have to do some cosmetic things. Nice. So thank you, Jess. It was a lot of work and she definitely kept everything in order. We Thank you, that. Jess. All right, now, who do you want to shine a light on? 800-292-5150. Randall, what's up? Hey, you. Good morning. Who do you want to shine a light on? So, I want to shine a light on a company called Postal Habitat for Humanity. Mm-hmm. So, basically, what they do is they are composed of all volunteers. They help veterans restore their homes. They help people in need of homes become first-time homeowners. Oh, nice. I love that. So it's amazing. Actually, you just have to apply. You have to have a need for the home. Mm -hmm. And I'm blessed because I applied. I have two small children. My son is one. My daughter is five. And we are breaking ground on my home today. Wow, that's amazing. Congratulations. I love to hear that and that you found out about this program and they actually helped you. That's That's dope. They did. And it's amazing because it's in every community. It's not even in my own community. I live in Neptune, New Jersey, Mm -hmm. but I have a friend that was approved. She lives in Trenton. So just look it up. I want everybody to know, like, you probably don't even know about the things, you know? What's it called again? It's like, no. It's called Habitat for Humanity. Okay. Yeah. Habitat for Humanity. I think my mom did some volunteer work with them before. 
on a Okay, good. Well, thank you so much. And shout out to Habitat for Humanity. And congratulations. That's big. Yes, yes. I'm so happy. I, my mom, we've never lived in a home. You know, we've always had apartments. Okay. So now I'm about to have a three-bedroom house and with a backyard, and I'm blessed. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's a very legitimate organization. I feel like they do stuff internet, like all around the world, globally, but that's Everywhere. dope. Habitat for Humanity. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Ty from Philly. Who do you want to shine a light on? I want to shine a light on my brother, Tremaine Hicks. Mm-hmm. He was exonerated from prison three years ago. When he came on, he started a nonprofit organization called Step Up. Okay. Step Up. Jermaine Hicks. Um, you know what? We actually have a gift for you to give to him. How about, would you like to give him some Born in Roma by Valentino, some cologne? Yeah, yeah, he would like that. Yeah, just a, and it smells really good. But um, that's really dope. You know, congratulations to him. Now, tell us more about him. He was convicted of a time he didn't do mm-hmm. about 20 years ago. He's been fighting. He, he, he claimed his innocence the whole time. It took him 20 years to review his case. Ooh. He got out in December 20. He got out December 16th of 2020. And he started He started step up actually in jail, but it didn't become official until he came home from jail. That's crazy. That's time you can't ever get back. And you always knew your brother was innocent. Always. All right. Well, thank you. And shout out to Tremaine Hicks. Thank you for calling us. Thank you. Well, that was Shine a Light on him. And thank you to Born in Aroma by Valentino, available at Macy's for always coming through and making sure that I smell good and that you smell good because we've been giving some away. Now, when we come back, we have Yee And let's talk about Boosie versus T.I. Here's what Boosie had to say about their conversation after their beef. They managed to squash it. We'll tell you what happened on Way Up with Angela Yee. Yo, she about to blow the lid up off this pot. Let's get it. Oh, yeah. Angela's spilling that yee tea. Come and get the tea. Yes, it's way up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee. And Mano's here with the tea. Yes, I'm back. <laughs> Mano with the yee tea. <laughs> All right, now let's talk about uh, Boosie. He's gone through for yet another Vlad TV interview. Mm-hmm. You know, that's his thing. And he actually talked about how he and T.I. managed to squash their beef. Now, it all started with this statement from T.I. My lawyer said, well, you know... I could make everything go away if it was Tramiel's. And I had a talk with two. After he had passed, I had a talk with him. Say, I take all the charges you got. Because I'd be damned if they go come and mother and extradite me from here. All right. So that all comes from him saying that he told right. on his cousin who had passed. Right. Now, what do you think about that, Mano? Uh, I, was he joking? Um. See, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't, right, I don't know the con- right. Yeah, see, I don't know the context. So he didn't I mean, have a conversation with his cousin after he passed. It's basically how I took it. But. Right. So I, I feel like he was joking. Okay. Well, here's what Boosie had to say because they were supposed to have a collab album. Right. With the Ti situation, if he did that, you're a f-ing rat too. I'm like, why the f- do you say that when we got a f-ing album gonna come out? <laughs> okay. So is that album coming out? No. It ruined <laughs> everything. <laughs> And T.I. did show some paperwork afterwards showing right. that he did not snitch. It was right. a photo of court documents and said that he was just, you know, embellishing everything. Right. So now Boosie said that they did have a conversation. There was that right. picture that circulated of him at the airport. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, I gave him an apology. After we kept going back and forth, you know, like, you know, the things he was doing for me in my life at the time, I kind of felt bad. He was doing some real sh- helping me in a lot of ways. But uh, I still told him I stand on what I stand on. And uh, when he explained it to me, uh, we got by it, man. Uh, Tip was, like I, like I said, like you said, it was a form of embellishment, bro. Like, I'm just seeing what the world's going to say. So, you know, uh, we got by, you know, like like boss is supposed to get by. Right. Yeah, that's yeah. good. That's what, I mean, at the end of the day, friends. Isn't it nice when you squash beef? Yes. Okay. I love, yeah, yeah, squash beef. What do you think was the best beef you ever squashed where you felt like, <laughs> I'm happy that we put this behind um, us? All my, all my industry beef. All of them? All of them. Was there one in particular that you were like, man, I can't believe I even was beefing yeah, like that? Yeah, of course, because I mean, a lot of times you look Maybe at things that you've done in hindsight and you'd be like, man, that wasn't really about nothing. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's nice when you say that, especially they had a collab album. Right. You know, right, so right. y'all were really tight. I mean, men could always come together and, and, and get past whatever the hump is. So it's all good. All right. Now, Tiger Woods and Justin Timberlake, since we're talking about teaming up, they're teaming up. They're building a 600-acre town in Florida. Can you believe that? 
So it's a it's called the Wellington. It's gonna have single family homes, condo stores, and a hotel near Palm Beach. And they're also focusing on the equestrian spirit. And so that should be really I mean, imagine that. You we said Tiger best, Woods? Yes, and Justin Timberlake. Oh, that's a that's an odd couple there. Now they're saying that it's usually very busy here during the winter months when equestrian and polo competitions are held throughout the town. And finance firms and their employees who moved to the area during the pandemic are looking to make it their main base. But they're looking for more than what's currently available. So they saw an opportunity and they said, mm. let's just build this this area up. All right. Now, Jonathan Majors, his alleged victim has been granted a temporary order of protection ahead of that court date that's going to be happening. Uh, the court date is May 9th. The actor is facing charges of assault and harassment, and the judge did grant a full temporary order of protection that means that they cannot have any direct or third party contact that remains in effect until the next court date what you think about that Whew, i think we're going to find out more as this court date happens you know a lot of people are saying and he put out those text messages and, and footage footage thinking that was going to be helpful but if anything that did not prove innocence that but it didn't prove that right, right but they were saying that her hand was broke I mean, well, they said she had minor injuries to her head and her neck. And when she went to the doc, she actually did go to the doctor. I can't say what, went to the club. what did or didn't happen. But that is that doesn't mean that you're not a victim. A lot of times, mm. and we've seen this happen, people try to go about their life as normal and act like something didn't happen. She, and even try to cover for the person. Mm. So we can't say. I don't know. Right. But clearly, there's a lot more to this story. All right. And that is your YT. When we come back, we have About Last Night. And Mano and I did something last night. Yeah. In, in conjunction with YouTube. Yeah. In conjunction yeah, that with was, YouTube. That was nice. So we'll talk about it. It's Way Up with Angela Yee. Last night. So, about last night. Last night. Last night. Here's how it went down. Yes, it's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee. And Mano is New here. Mano. And we mean that when we say New Mano. Now, you know it's a Friday, mm -hmm. and that means Tell Us a Secret is coming up shortly. <laughs> and that's why Mano's really here. Hey, listen. Because y'all wild out on Fridays. I need secrets. <laughs> why you say that? You say you need I it. I need it. Like, I, I actually want them to really call in and really give us some. It's Friday. Yeah, tell it's Friday. us your, your, your you best. Some, you missed some the last time, Mano. Deepest, darkest secrets. You would have been... In heaven, okay, really? if you would have heard this last batch wow. that we did. But yeah, so make sure y'all start calling in for that, 800-292-5150. But we have about last night right now. And last night, Mano, you were premiering a video for Vibe With Me. Right, yep, yep. And so uh, explain how you did this whole premiere. So we, we did the premiere actually with YouTube, which is something different. And, you know, where they actually said, you know, we're going to premiere with you. We're going to run the ads. And we're going to do something that they got going on, something new. Like, it's called the after party where you go live. Mm -hmm. And then, so, they set up, set the link up. And I had you and Jasmine call in. Yes, we called in. You were in the studio with Queens Flip. Well, my man Queens Flip. Shout out to Queens Flip. You mm -hmm. know, it's my guy. He said he wants to come up here, but I don't know. We got to <laughs> get the dump button ready. Gotta... <laughs> I don't know what he's going to say. But I'm going to tell you, if, if, if we bring Flip up here, he's... He's definitely a movie. <laughs> it's definitely going to be fun. Um, no, but so we, 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 we viewed the video. It came out. We talked about it. And it was a vibe. Okay. But, a vibe. And so let's talk about the video a little yeah. bit. Because the whole feel of it was kind of a throwback to the Hype Williams, Missy yeah, Elliott, Diddy, Fishlands, Mace, Fish Busta. Island. Yes. That's exactly what it was. It was the shiny suit era. You know, the the, the, the Star Trek glasses. Mm -hmm. All that. You know, and I wanted, to, I wanted to kind of step out my comfort zone and do something different. I wanted to... I wanted to uh, do some car. There was choreography. Yeah, and, and, and get into a little character, you know. It was dancing in the video. And have fun. Yeah. Did you have fun making it? Absolutely. Okay. And it was different fun. Because usually my fun is a little different. It's like a lot of girls in there. And the like bottles popping. Bottles and maybe they kissing. It's, it's, it's different. Right. It's standing in front of the car. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah, girls kissing fun. in the back. <laughs> <laughs> but I will say, and people need to know this too, right? It's okay to have fun. Yes, it I is. feel like New York was known for a while that we would have parties in the club and nobody would dance. I kind of feel like it's similar to that now. It's still like that now, yeah, right? But that's yeah. what people used to say. Like, you go to other cities, people right. would be having a good time in the right. club. They'd be right. I was in Detroit the other day, right. and I just I was staying at the um, MGM. And so I yeah. went down to the club in the casino. Mm -hmm. When I tell you, they was partying in that club in the casino. They right. were doing line dances and everything. You know, when you, <laughs> when you go to a party and people really partying and dancing, it makes you want to dance. 
It's actually a nice vibe because yeah. it is too. When you go to New York, everybody want to have a table. That's the thing. Everybody want to have bottle yes. service. That's people want to just look cool. And then you really not enjoying it because you're sitting there. See who's where, people on the phone, filming yeah, themselves, you're just standing going around. live. Yeah, just watching. You just room watching. Man, no, so I had an idea. Mm. I think that you should um, be part of the choreography and you should have <laughs> a Mano dance. I'm dead serious. You, you know, I'm, I'm going to try that. Because I think a Vibe With Me dance on TikTok. Yeah, I, I, I know gotta everybody got to think about all those things. But I'm just telling you, but, Mano, because... You know, mm-hmm. the behind the scenes, I was really trying to get it together. <laughs> like, I've really tried. Where's Lorianne Gibson? For real. We need Lorianne Gibson to come through and do some choreography with Mano. Yeah. And I feel like that is next level, and that'll be fun. I'm with it. Okay. All right, so we're going to get that together. We got to get her up here. Now, when we come back, I told you, we got to tell us a secret. Please. <laughs> Please. Wait. I'm begging. <laughs> I'm begging. 292-5150 is a number. Mano's here. Now, it's supposed to be no judgment. It is anonymous. That's a fact. No judgment. I can guarantee on my end there's no judgment. I cannot I cannot say. guarantee. I'm being honest right now. But I will, Please. I will cut Mano off if he tries to say <laughs> something crazy I'm or not, try to judge you. No, but we need them to really, really yeah. call in. All right, yeah, let's go in. It's a Friday. AFG yes. 292-5150. Tell us a secret. It's way up with Angela Yee. Shh. This is a judgment-free zone. Tell us a secret. Yes, it's way up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee. And Mano. Yes, I'm back. Is my co-host for the day. Yeah. All right. And we're doing Tell Us a Secret. This is Mano's favorite, favorite segment. Yes, it is. And it's no judgment, Mano. So I'm going to really need you to pay attention. Take heed to that today. I can't guarantee. All right, but you get to remain anonymous. You get to tell us whatever you want. We don't care what it is that you did that you feel bad about. Maybe you stole some money. Maybe you cheated. Please. Maybe... <laughs> he said, please. Please. Mano tell has us. Some... There's some that bother Mano so much that he will call me weeks later and <laughs> right. be like, he would never give that money back. Word. Like, that's not right. That's just Word. not right. But we're not judging you here. That's not our job. Our job is to just listen and let you make whatever confession that it is that you have. And do we forgive you for your sins? I forgive. Okay. I mean, are we in the position to do that? I mean, I'm I'm not nobody's. Yeah. But the point is, you get it out there in the atmosphere. Maybe it'll make you feel better. Maybe it'll make you say, hmm, maybe I need to do something differently. Either way, tell us a secret. 800-292-5150. Hello, anonymous caller. Tell us a secret. So, uh, before me and my wife got married, this was about like four or five years ago. Long story short, I had sex with her mother. <laughs> Mano. <laughs> and this is while you were dating? <laughs> what? While you while you were yeah, dating? Yeah, I mean we we were together, we were together like this is kinda like the first year in. And uh, you know, you used to hang out the house or whatever and, and when I was over there, like I always caught my, her mother like staring at the you know I mean the the thing. So, you know, I, I pulled up on her ass, I'm like, yo, why you why you always looking in, in that area? And she was like, I want to see what it's like. Ooh. Oh, you knocked the mother off. Yeah. You are a legend. Yeah. Stop it, Mano. Yeah, I'm not. They, you know they're going to they're gonna, they're gonna build schools after you, bro. <laughs> Name streets after you, brother. You know that, right? So, how many times uh, did you do it? it? Um, Like three, four times. <laughs> yeah, what is, it, it was good. What, what can I say? What is your wife's relationship like with her mom? Um, they cool. They, I mean, they don't even know. Well, she don't know. Wife, wife, you don't know. But you know what I mean, okay. Um, and when is the last time you had sex with her mom, with your mother-in-law? <laughs> um, I, I can't comment on that. Oh, you, it's still happening. Uh, yeah, no comment on that. Man, do we we talking to a modern day legend, man? We talking to like somebody. I mean, statues will be built. See, man, you had I'm a problem. You have a problem with certain things, but for this, this guy's a legend. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just telling you, like he's the greatest that this ever is like did the it. The opposite of judgment. You're the greatest that ever did it, bro. All right. All right, folks. Hello, anonymous caller. How you doing? How you doing? So you want to tell me and Mano a secret? <laughs> yeah, I tell you. Uh, so in 2019, when I was in school. I had to give two of my professors that got, got 3000 to get the A in those classes. Walk us through this. How did this even go down? All right, so uh, I had a B, but I wanted A because I wanted my 4.0. And so I went in, I was like, hey, so what I got to do to get an A? He was like, we'll talk about class. We talked about class and went from there. So what went from there? I, I, I gave him that You gave him what? Let me me. What? <laughs> wow. I never heard so, of that. oh, okay. So it was a male professor. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then you ended up getting an A. So you did a good job. Yes, sir. I got by me. Yes, ma'am. I got my point. I want it. 
Okay. All right. Well, thank you for sharing. I guess he earned oh, yeah. that A. Yeah. Whoa. If he would have did a bad job, he probably would have been stuck with that B. That's a bit much. He did want that D. <laughs> you out of control. <laughs> What's up, anonymous caller? Hey. Hey, you want to share a secret, me and Mayno? I do. Ooh, this is so embarrassing. Anyway, um, so a couple months ago at work, my boss started picking on me for whatever reason. So I have found her husband on social media, and we've been sleeping together. Oh wow! Oh my god! So what? You just sent a DM? Yeah, I slid in his DM or whatever, and he responded. I knew he was a cheater because of the talk around the office. I mean, I didn't really think he was gonna go, but he went. And now it's to the point where, like, I didn't try to break it off or whatever, but he's like, no, I don't want you dealing with anybody else. So I thought him like, well, in order to keep this going, you have to give me a monthly allowance. And he agreed. Oh, wow. wow. So now how do, you, how do you interact with your boss at work? You smile. Now when she tries to piss me off, I just smile. Yeah. Oh, laugh under her breath. <laughs> wow. That's, that is demon behavior. Absolutely. Don't nothing beat the cross but a double cross. Oh. Now, can I just um, recommend that you watch uh, Obsession on Netflix? Because. Oh. Please watch that. Okay. It's kind of a. a yeah. All right. <laughs> well, be okay, careful. Thank you. Be careful, okay? I will. All right. All right. She See, no like judgment. She, How come I, you I didn't give her an award, Mano? How come she's not the goat? No, you know she. It, it was a little different, but I, I I like what she do with her, with her enemies though. Okay, like, she don't I'm play. just paying attention to who you give these no, awards I'm just to. I'm saying like that, that was legendary you? though, for real. <laughs> the mother at the saint, like come on, that was. She's sleeping that guy. with with her boss's husband. That was that and was pretty, an allowance. Yeah, that was pretty major though. I can't lie, that was pretty major. All right, well, thank you guys for sharing with us on Tell Us a Secret. Mano did a good job of not, but he is a little biased. I'm gonna say that. <laughs> All right, eight hundred two nine two fifty one fifty. If you didn't get through, we still want to hear from you. You can always leave a message. It's way up with Angela Yee. That was Tell Us a Secret. When we come back, we got Yee T, and let's discuss Rihanna making major moves while she's expecting baby number two. They say it's truth in the room. <laughs> From industry shade to all the gossip. Out, Sam, Angela's spilling that yee tea. Talk to him. Yes, it's way up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee. And Mano is here. New Mano. I just found something out. We're going to talk about this later. Everybody in this building went to a party last night that I was not invited to. You know, you got to. Even right. Mano was there. No, I wasn't at the party. I was at. <laughs> We're going to talk about it later, though. Shout out to Samantha, I you think. Know. I just got pressed in here too, though. Okay, yeah, he did. We'll talk about it later. Yeah. But let's do Yee T right now. Rihanna has been cast in a brand new movie. This time, she'll be playing Smurfette in Paramount's The Smurfs movie. You know how dope that is. Nice. It was crazy because remember the Smurfs used to always come on, and it was so long. Yeah, Smurfs was like, and the there was greatest. only one woman. Yeah, Smurfette. In the whole, right in the whole village. Yeah. How did they get there? <laughs> How did they all get there? Uh, now, Rihanna joked to Variety that she tried to get the Papa Smurf role, but it didn't work out. Papa and Smurf. she'll also be recording new songs for the soundtrack and producing the reboot of the franchise. Okay, so the Smurfs movie is going to hit theaters in 2025. Wow. That's dope. It is. Smurfette. Yeah, a little Smurfette. Blue like the Navy, like the Rihanna Navy. Okay. So you can see, okay? okay? You see all of that happening? All right, now, speaking of movies, French Montana has a documentary, and the trailer is available now. It's called For Khadija. He posted, been working on this since 2017, the best thing we ever created, Tribeca, June 16th, documented life story for Khadija, executive produced by my brothers, Drake and Diddy. Listen to this. I was an immigrant with no papers. I can't go to college. I can't get a job. My pop didn't like the way French was going, and he wanted to leave French. I just remember my mother working two, three jobs. I walked in on my mother one time crying, praying. You don't want to see your mother like that. What other options you got? Hit the streets. As he was getting hotter in the streets, he turned into an artist. At this time, me and Max would be running the city. It was him and his people against, like, whoever. This young, untouchable mob boss from New York. Music controls the streets. Mm. That sounds good. Yeah, it sounds good. And, you know, I, I met French many, many years ago. You know, so when I seen some of that clip last night, it, it brought me back to the time we first met back in the DVD uh, days. Coke and Boys. Coke Boys and, mm -hmm. you know, the whole DVD mixtape era. I met French Montana back then, too. You want to hear something mm -hmm. funny? I had yeah. a bowling party 
And he was there and he jumped into a picture. It was like Jay Z, Michael Kaiser, but oh, they, wow. I think Usher's in the picture and they didn't know. They were like, who is this? Like at that wow. time. Yeah, so he was in the picture and then it would be places and it didn't even have him name. And look, look at where he is now. Wow, so you still got that picture? Yeah, no. I'll show it to you. Wow. It's online. All right, and speaking of, um, you know, documentaries and things like that, the Kardashians. Season three trailer is out. And I saw people saying, I am really interested in seeing this now. It looks that uh, interesting. So here's Kim Kardashian. And of course, uh, she's going to be talking about her divorce. I don't even know where we left off. You were still in a relationship. I was? Yep. Damn. You okay? No. Aww. Not okay. I'm just having such a hard day today. Today, your divorce was final. Yeah. I don't know how Kim handles everything with her ex-husband. I don't think you realize the weight of the world is on your shoulders. He has made up the most insane narrative. We stay silent through all the lies for my kids. In addition to that, Kylie Jenner is talking about her plastic surgery and beauty standards. Here's what she had to say. All of us just need to have a bigger conversation about the beauty standards that we're setting. I don't want my daughter to do the things I did. I wish I'd never touched anything to begin with. Whew. All right. So she's saying that she has some regrets. And we see a lot of now people going back and fixing some of the surgery that they had previously. They never take the lips out, though. I think, yeah, fillers, you can dissolve those, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. They, they wind up dissolving anyway. After yeah, time. on their own. You have to keep getting those redone. But that is your Yeeti. And speaking of fillers, when we come back, we have Under the Radar. <laughs> and we're going to talk about fillers for you guys in a place that I'm you can good. just imagine. It's way up with Angela Yee. I got news. This is the news that relates to you. These stories are flying under the radar. Yes, it's way up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee and new Mano. New Mano. Mano ain't here giving advice. Yeah, I like I'm it. Great vi advice. I'm a real good advice giver. <laughs> You're a great advice giver. Yeah. Mano the advice giver. Mm -hmm. All right, and now we are doing Under the Radar. These are stories that are not necessarily headline news stories, but we think they're fascinating and people should know about them. Mm -hmm. Now, this one is about fillers. And I don't mean facial fillers. I don't mean lip fillers. We're talking about penis fillers. They said facial fillers are on the decline, but penis fillers are rising more than ever. And we mean rising. All right. How much does it cost? Upwards of $15,000 if you want to enlarge your package. Now, a lot of people have been talking about dissolving their uh, facial fillers. But right now, people are talking about enhancing their penis with these. The idea originated, according to Dr. Schaefer, who specializes in this treatment, about six years ago. A patient's friend suggested injecting his penis. He said, a light went off in my head. And I said, why not? If you want to be the guinea pig, we'll do it. And he said, I had him come back a couple of days later and we did it. He called a week later. He said, this stuff is amazing but I want to have more of it and he said he's refined the procedure over the years and so um, he got really popular with this procedure because it was experimental at first he said the guy I was injecting started going on these penis chat rooms and people eventually came across our website and ended up making the appointment. People come in for all reasons. He said he thought when he first started doing it, it was going to be people smaller, but it's not. He said a lot of porn actors, teachers, prison guards, actors, executives, financial people, people in the tech world, they're all doing this. I'm good. <laughs> Prison guards. I know. That was weird. I paused at that one too. Like, yeah, like why? What? Why is that uh, particular? Walk around in jail, <laughs> all the way up, huh? All the way up. Now, Dr. Schaefer is the lead on the only FDA-approved study on off-label use of fillers for penis enlargement, but they are doing studies to see what the complications could be, and of course, he said safety is is his number one thing, and he said he's done thousands now, about twenty to twenty-five a week of these penis fillers, and it's a very popular procedure. And a lot of doctors have been reaching out trying to get him to teach them how to do it. So. I'm straight. <laughs> but yeah, um, if you want to make an appointment, you know, we'll tell you what you can expect. It's not that painful. They said you won't actually feel anything. There's a numbing shot um, that they do at the base of the penis. And then they prep it after that. And then just like we're doing a surgery, it's the same sterile techniques. And you lie on the procedure table. So Nah, we good. <laughs> that's it. All right, and it will not impact your sex life if you got, if you guys want to try it. So there you go. Now here's another thing I was reading for under the radar: a sleep divorce. This uh, is something that's really popular. And now imagine you're with somebody, and it's hard for you to sleep when they're in the room. Should you get a sleep divorce? What this means is for some people sleeping separately. 
According to doctors, there's a lot of benefits to that. If you don't like the snoring, if you guys have like a way different schedule, like I remember for me getting up at four in the morning, it used to be really hard, you know, to be with someone and then the alarm gets off and then he wakes up and, you know, you press snooze a few times. Mm. So maybe the best idea is to sleep in another room or in another bed. A sleep divorce. Do you have to go to court for that? No, it's actually you guys are together, but just trying to get a better night's sleep. What if you're in a studio apartment? One bedroom. Um, Then maybe you have to go on the couch. Really? And and sleep there. Uh, you know, I don't know. But imagine, have you been with somebody that snores really loudly? Or are you that person, Mayno, that snores really loudly? I was, I was with somebody that snored like a... An animal. I, no, I'm not saying I was with them, but I had an experience with mm-hmm. them, and I was like, "Yo, you." S- so imagine that every single them. night. Yeah, I couldn't deal with that that day. <laughs> right. So a sleep divorce might be the solution for you. Yeah, yeah. I, I will say this though: I love divorce, to sleep. Right? You know, next uh, cuddle up and sleep. Like I'm the type of person at night. I'm gonna sleep with like my leg over you, my arm over you. You can't move. And then he like. <sighs> Yeah, you can't move. And so I can't imagine sleeping with like him being in the other room and I'm oh, in the bed so by myself. Oh, really touching just now. It's true. I so like you're to... taking all the snoring and anything. Yeah, because I also probably am the one that snores. Wow. <laughs> I snore if I'm on my back. If I'm, I, I got to flip over on my side and right. he will say he'll like nudge me and then I stop. You but, probably snore yeah. loud. Probably. Whoa. All right. Well, that is your Under the Radar. Now, we do have the Way Up Mix coming at the top of the app. Hour. Plus, we got Ask You. You can start calling up right now if you have any questions because Mano's here and he's an advice giver as well. Yeah, I am. <laughs> 800-292-5150. It's Way Up with Angela Yee. Hey. Now, 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 now. Yeah, she back at it. Bring it, bring in the back. back. Way Up with Angela Yee is on. Yes, it's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm here with my compadre. New Mano. Mano. New Mano. Yeah. Mano, you have a new video out right yes. now, too. Yes, just came out. Vibe with me. Yes, vibe with me. All right, now we're going to talk about that more in new releases, but mm-hmm. let's talk about Lotto. Now, she has her own show, 777 Radio on Apple Music, and she had her sister, Brooklyn Nicole, on as her guest on the latest episode, and she talked about her plastic surgery. Here's what she said. When I didn't have my surgery, they're like, oh, she's so bad, buddy, then... She shaped right. like a white side. And then when I got the surgery, it's, oh, she's botched. Oh, it's too heavy. Right. It ages her. You can There's never, never win. You're never going to win. So yeah. just find peace within yourself. Whatever you want to do, do that. I promise you, without the, the pressure on you, you would love yourself. Your True. body, your natural state. Take that and own that. To all the women listening, just, hey, just, yes. to, just to put that out there. And that is a fact. No matter what you do, somebody going to have a problem That's a with fact. It. Yeah. No matter what. People going to criticize you. They're going to criticize different things about mm-hmm. you. And the, and you're going to pay attention to that more than the people saying you look great. Right. That's a fact. You 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 somehow circle in on, on the negative comments. You, you go right. They say you should have went left. Mm-hmm. Go yeah. up. You, they say you should have went down. Then you go and do things that you feel like you should do because people are saying it. And then and they don't criticize matter. you they for crit- doing it. They criticize that. So, yes, that's good advice. She also said she doesn't want to be doing music forever. She's got this radio show. She's been doing her acting. Dope. You know, do you think you put a a time limit on when you're like, okay, after this, I'm not doing it anymore? I just think that we could, I mean, nowadays you can do so many different things Mm -hmm. at the same time. You know, whether you do music, whether you still do music, you can do music, do radio, do podcasts, act. You can pretty much do all those things at the same time now. Yeah, I think it's interesting because with music, people normally do it because they love it. People right. don't, don't just do music. Like, right. That's like, you a love, grind. To, love to do music. It's a, you know? And it's difficult to break through and for right. people to even know who you are. So once you get to that point, you can say, I don't want to do this for X amount of years. But then you're like... You want mm-hmm. to still doing it. Yeah. All right. Barack Obama, he actually um, has a new series coming out on Netflix. It's a four-part docuseries that he's narrating. It's called Working What We Do All Day. It explores the ways in which we find meaning in our work and how our experiences and struggles connect us on a human level. That's the Netflix description of the project. It actually premieres May 17th, and it's based and inspired on a Pulitzer Prize winning um Writer book book from 1974, Studs Terkel's book, Working. It's an oral history that explores jobs and the people who do them. Listen to the trailer. You may not think about it, but we're all a part of something larger than any single one of us. And our work is one of the forces that connects us. It looks crazy downtown. A revolution is happening right before our eyes. Artificial intelligence, remote work, spiraling inequality. It can be hard to make sense of where we're going. 
What if people from three different industries, from the service entrance to the C-suite, invited us into their lives and told us, what makes a good job good? <laughs> what makes a good job good? good word. I think a lot of it is, do you like the people you work with? What are mm-hmm. the benefits? You know, how stressful is it? I like a job where... Like with me, what I do here, I know I end up doing stuff like outside of work and when I'm at home, but it's nice to be able to turn it off sometimes. Right, but it's also about if you actually like to do what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Some people get up every day to go to jobs that they don't like. Right, right. Just to pay bills. And sometimes, you know, you can like what you're doing but not get compensated right for it. Indeed. And then that can make you a little irritable. Right. All right, now, uh, speaking of programming, Snoop Dogg, Little Kim, Yasin Bey, there are a few of the hip-hop artists that Audible is using to create their own series in honor of the 50th anniversary. So, beginning this summer, there will be several hip-hop icons hosting shows on the audio storytelling platform. In addition, they expect that uh, Public Enemies Chuck D and DJ Drama are going to appear as well. So, that should be interesting with Audible. 50 years of hip-hop. Yes. Um, and the IRS is claiming that Beyonce owes $2.7 million in unpaid taxes and penalties, but she's fighting that. She's saying that her charitable donations weren't figured in. By the way, that's a pocket change for Beyonce. Exactly. I'm sure that's she her accounting and they got to figure easy. out. She yeah. got that. Write that right off. Looks like an amendment saying, look, these charitable contributions have to count towards everything else and my itemized deductions. But again, it's important to stay on top of your taxes. So that way, when you know you say owe something or there's a correction to be made, you don't want to be paying interest and mm-hmm. fees and all of that. So I'm sure her legal team is going to take care of it. But somehow I made it into the news. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, that is your Yeetie. And you know, it's a Friday. So you know what that ne- means? New music. New music. I'm fine. New Mano. New Mano. New Mano. Yeah. So when we come back, we'll tell you what albums, what singles, what videos, because I know somebody who just put out a, a yeah. new video, too, uh, is out today. It's Way Up with Angela Yee. Hey. Now, 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 now back. Yeah, she back at it. Bring it. Bring in the back. back. Way Up with Angela Yee is on. Mm. All right. It's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee. And um, what did you guys do last night? Mano's here. What'd you do last night, Mano? You know, me and you, we did something with YouTube last night. You, you remember? Okay, what time was that? You know, um, 8, Did you 05. do anything after? Uh, I had to make my rounds uh, at both Chelsea's. Okay, stopped at Chelsea, Chelsea Downtown. Okay. You know, stopped in there for about five minutes, ten minutes the most. Oh, that's it? Yeah, that's it. And All then right. I went to Uptown Chelsea. Um, there's uh, three other people in the room as well. Okay, Dan, who's our producer. What did you do last night? Did you... I went to Chelsea House. Oh, you were at Chelsea House, too. Oh, that's where Mano was, right? Okay, yeah. Nick, uh, he actually runs the boards here. Nick, what did you do last night? Chelsea House. You were at Chelsea House also. <laughs> All right, that's cool. Now, Sim, who's not normally in this room, right? She's at working. But um, what did you do last night? I was at Chelsea House. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there's five of us in this room, right? Two, one, two, three, four, five. Four of us were at Chelsea House. What was happening at Chelsea House? I don't know. I walked in and it was uh, it was adventish. Sam, do you know what was happening? All right. I want to jump right out the window here and say I had an event, mm-hmm. but I invited you to it. And I just didn't Where's send the follow-up invitation. How, oh. did, where did you send the invite? I you invited it. her physically. But the oh, problem so, so was, she forgot. She forgot. Whoa, when you did forgot. you invite me? But we were both drunk when I invited her. Oh. It was at that Miguel dinner that you How just said. How long ago said. was that? Shout out to RCA. How, how uh, long ago yeah, was RCA, that? RCA, sorry. How long ago was that? What? Two, that Miguel two dinner. Two and a half, three weeks ago? Oh, so that, three yeah, weeks that's ago, too long. while we were drunk, you invited Mm-mm. me. Okay, but two okay. and a half. Damn, Sam. But here's the thing. Now, the question is, how did everyone else know? Did they get reminded? I don't know how. Well, Mayno knew because that's his stuff. Okay. And then everyone else, I invited because mm-hmm. I have like their numbers and stuff. I don't have your number, and I meant to tell Dan, I don't have Yee's number. Just mm-hmm. forward her the invitation to make mm-hmm. sure she remembers. Mm-hmm. But I was like so busy, time. I I'm, forgot. I'm looking at all this. Home. Well, technically, I really didn't know. I, I, I had spoke to the general man- manager. Shout out to Quay earlier that day, but um, and because I was sending some people over there, and then she told me there was an event happening, mm. and then. I didn't know who. Okay. Now, look, I'm looking at your story, Sim. Mm -hmm. I see home team with a heart. Wow. Okay. And then I see Eddie was there, Eddie F. Man. You know, I see, oh, look at here's Dan in the picture, DJ Pro Style. 
Mm-hmm. All, all like, here's a huge shout out to Samantha for inviting me to this unplugged event. It really felt so good just to vibe with no phones <laughs> wow. and make genuine connections. I'm glad Angela wasn't there. Nah, you. see, now you're capping. <laughs> like, you are sprinkling a lot of sauce on this story. Right. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, DJ Samaria was there too? Okay. Really dope event. Shout out to Sim Sim and putting this together. If you weren't there, you're square. Mm. Wow. Okay, but you were invited. All right, so I want to know what you guys think that are listening. Have you ever felt left out? Have you ever Mm -hmm. felt like everybody went out to a party without you and you just simply were not included? And I did a deeper dive into this. (laughs) Wait, before you fall in. Deeper dive. You you did a deep dive and then went deeper. Mm -hmm. Consider the fact that I told Angela, you should have just added it to your calendar. Three weeks ago? You should have put it on your calendar. Y'all was drunk, though. That's what I told Thea, and she said, just make sure it's on my calendar. Did you put it on her calendar, or how did that happen? Because she told me to. Okay. So when, so you, when I invited you, you way for a lot of people, when I told because I'm you, here every day, you know. So you haven't seen me in three weeks. We haven't seen each other a lot. Think about it, Sim. I don't know. So like, I'm I'm did this deep dive. There's a few different reasons it could be. All right. We'll, okay. we'll talk about it when we come back. 800-292-5150. It's time to pick a side. Pick okay. A side. Do you think that there's any way that Sam could have invited me? Mm-hmm. Or do you think that it was just I did impossible, invite you. as she's stating, that somehow everybody else in the whole entire building knew? I, knew, I saw people from different offices, all right, wow. that made it out there. And I just want to know what happened. 800-292-5150. Pick a side. It's about what you believe. It's time to pick a side and stay there. Pick a side and stay there, right? It's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee. Mano is here. Yes, I am. After a long night of partying. Not at all. <laughs> Sim is here. Hey, Sim. Hi. What's your Instagram so people can follow you and, and see who exactly <laughs> did this? <laughs> My Instagram is underscore Sim Sima underscore S-Y-M-S-Y-M-M-A. Okay. And you will see... So let me tell you what happened. Let's set it up. Uh, Sim Sima here had a party last night. And invited. When I tell you, everybody in the studio was there last night. Some people that work here didn't come. In this particular studio. Mm, mm, okay. Mm. And some people that didn't come, but they were invited, right? So were you. She invited me during a drunken night out at a Miguel event. <laughs> so she says, I don't even remember this happening, but she, I'm taking your word for it. You don't remember the invite. You don't no, remember the conversation. I invited you wow. and Jasmine while we were sitting right in Mr. Child. Jasmine went then, right? Did Jasmine go? No, Jasmine, Jasmine didn't come Jasmine's either. in D.C., mm. so she couldn't go. So, But I'm sure she was invited. But wow. um, yes, so everybody here was at, a, at the party, and I saw a lot of posts on social media. I saw Thea, who is our boss up here, actually yeah. uh, posting great night, great nice. event. Thank you for inviting everyone. Great night at Chelsea House. <laughs> and we also, by the way, have access to the whole company email. All you got to do is type in the person's name. But it was, it was a private up. event, not a company event. Oh, so everybody in the company but me. No. Oh, yo. Probably. I want y'all, when you follow me, you're, I mean, when you go and look at the stories, you're going to see that it was not... Mano was there, so Mano does work here, so that's it, fair it's, enough. It's, technically, I in, wasn't there. In his defense, he did a pop-up because he needed to. Right. Okay. And I did a deeper dive, and on the insider, <laughs> seven reasons everyone at work is hanging out without you. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> You guys should check it out and see what these reasons could be. But is it social boundaries? Is it your co-workers don't like you? <laughs> is it you're coming across as desperate? Is it um, your colleagues are clicky? I'm not part clicky. of the... Wait, I think first that's of all, it. I clicky. do want to say, I, it just came to my head. Uh-huh. I didn't invite Mano. Right. Uh-oh, so, I invited you. So Mano right. crashed. Let, well, now let's you, see what you, you guys think. Now. Okay, we're going to pick a side. Hello, who's this? This is real intuition. Is this Angela Yee? Yes, it is. It's me and Mano's here. Sim is here. And we want to know what you think about oh, this pick a side. Oh, okay, there. Okay. What's up? What's going on? I make music. I'm a big fan, dog. Ever since a little kid. Oh, I'm sure Sim will um, invite you out. <laughs> 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 so what do you, what do you think? You know, I, I 1,000% side with Angela, though. Um, wow. Like I said, with me doing music, um, I also work a regular 9 to 5. So, like, a lot of times... I really will be hella busy with, like, both lives, you know? And I, I say to my friends all the time, like, damn, man, I really wanted to go here with you or I wanted to go there. 
I would have loved to be uh, right. you know, in your pictures in that crowd, you know, in that networking space. I would have loved okay, to be there. Okay, hold on now. I'm going to play devil's yeah. advocate, though. So if you're too yeah. busy to remember to go to an event you actually want to go to, how come mm -hmm. I'm not allowed to be too busy to remember to remind you to come to an event that I really want you to come to? So you was too busy because to knock on the door. At the same time, like, I really that's why I'm like, Hello, really this is not about you right now, sir. <laughs> wow. Go ahead. Yeah, like, to all, all of, all of y'all do exactly what I do, but on the grand scale. You get what I'm saying? Uh-huh. So, in those Batman lives, and what I like to call them, we have to pull ourselves out of ourselves and just include others. Like, yes. I, like trust me, my team gets mad at me all the time for doing it, and I get mad at my friends, vice versa, for doing the same thing to me, because then when they look back at it, they're like, oh, wow, I was just there by myself, or I was there with a couple people, but I didn't bring mm -hmm. my whole network. Thank you. Thank you for... Thank you for... Like, we're a network. No, thank you. I appreciate you. I hope people are listening to this because I would hate for this to happen to someone else. <laughs> right, exactly. Yes, thank you. Catherine. Hey. Hey, Catherine. Have you ever had the whole office go to an event and not invite you? I have, but I've been on both sides of that. Okay. I've been on both sides of that. When, when you're a person who is planning an event, you get consumed with the event. Right. And I believe that it was an honest mistake that she forgot. She told you in passing. And she forgot to, you know, the reminder or, hey, don't forget. And it just could have been, you know, that she was just planning her event. Okay. Not so I want to add this now <laughs> that you just brought this up, too, because the way that I invited everyone was through text. Most people got a text message of the flyer. But ye right. has my number and I don't have hers. Mm, mm, mm. You know what? Though? You we, just gave me your number after this whole. We debacle. work in the same office though, and she managed to come in here this morning, right? Not having my number, uh -huh. right? To ask Mano if he was okay with um, how aggressive she was. Yeah, she him. talked to me very <laughs> aggressive last night. She could have walked in here. I think it was just a simple mistake. And Thank I'm sure you, Catherine. Make it up to you. I would, I would have felt some kind of way as well. Don't get me wrong. Okay. But at the same time, when you're planning events, you just get so consumed with that. Okay. All right. So, yeah, I'm gonna make it up. I the next like one, your picture is gonna be on my step and repeat. <laughs> <laughs> have a good day. Thank get you, Catherine. <laughs> All right. Bye bye. Hello. Who's this? Hello. This is Q. From Queens. Q from Queens. We're doing Pick a Side right now. Sim is in here. She had a party last night, invited everybody in the studio and on this floor and in this building except me. I invited you. What do you think? Who's <laughs> right and who's wrong here? Well, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna be honest. I was listening. She did invite you. It was See? a little while ago, but what I was saying was, you know, we all busy. She's throwing an event. She got a lot going on. That double invite, you know, when she gave you that first inv invitation, I think you should have threw it in your calendar real quick just now, to remind you. Uh, but we they were, was drunk. We drunk, and it was three weeks ago. I didn't even have my phone with me. But when I was drunk, and no. I still told you, mm. so you could it was put a it in your Y'all being drunk, y'all being drunk definitely plays a role, but I think it's a little bit of shared responsibility. Also, shout out Mano. Mano, you my guy. It's Q. I shot your um, the I Am Legend video a little while ago. Okay. Oh, okay. That's what's up, my guy. Well, maybe you guys can go to Chelsea up, House all together and celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will take accountability. I should have followed up, and I could have followed up. But don't say I didn't invite you. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you. All right, Sim. We'll see. Next one. Next one, 100%. I told you, I'm going to put your face on my step and repeat. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm busy that night, but thank you. <laughs> I'm busy that night. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Whatever night that is, I'm busy. <laughs> Okay, well, listen, when we come back, I want to talk about this. Um, I'm looking at all the gossip now. Smokey Robinson talking about his affair with Diana Ross while he was still married. And he loved his wife. And then we see Joel Santana talking about um, being faithful nice. to his wife. And he does want Kim Bella back is what it seems like. So they're not like. together. She calls herself single. We're going to talk about it, though, because if you are cheating, can you still be in love? It's yes. way up with Angela Yee. Yeah, she back at it. Bring it, bring in the Mac. We up with Angela Yee is on. 
All right, it's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee. And Mano is here. Yes, I am. And we were talking about Smokey Robinson. He has an album out today mm-hmm. called Gasms. And he's been doing a lot of press. <laughs> <laughs> and he was talking to The Guardian. And I know he's talked about this before, but he was talking about having a year-long affair with Diana Ross while he was married to his first wife, Claudette Rogers. Now, he said that she's a beautiful lady. I love her right till today. She's one of my closest people. She was young and trying to get her career together. He said he was trying to help her break into the scene at the time. He said, I wasn't going after her and she wasn't going after me. And they did end their alleged romance out of guilt after they'd been seeing each other for a while. Diana said she couldn't do that because she knew Claudette and she knew I still love my wife. He said, and I did. I loved my wife very much. And then I was looking at Kim Bella and Jewel's and uh, Jewel's had did this post on his story. I pride myself on being faithful because there was a time I wasn't. I don't won't cheat on my wife. That's how I knew I was ready to get married because I knew I was ready to fully commit to my wife. So no matter where we stand at, the moment as long as we married, I would, w- would will never break my vows. I'm hers. That's fact. No B will ever get to hold that over her. He said for anybody wondering or trying to be slick. So I'm wondering, can you be in love with somebody and still cheat? Yes. You know? You said that too fast. Yes. Okay, explain. Because I, I don't believe that a man cheats because he doesn't love his wife. See, a man can cheat based around his lust, his lower desire, right? So you can have your wife at home and have all of the great things going on at home, mm-hmm. but still get caught up in in your own lust, in, 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 in your but lower self. But physical attraction will physical. never go away to other people. Right, so. but men act on it more than women. At what point do you say, okay, I can't act on these things. I can say, see someone and say they're attractive, but I have too much at stake here and I wouldn't want to hurt the person that I'm with. Right, that's the right thing to say. Mm-hmm. But sometimes, whew, looking at your watch and you're looking around in the room, you're saying, man, I got to be home at 4.30. It's 2 now. I got a little I got a little time. I can wow, this you know. Yeah, I happens. don't know if that's love. Now, I did you're look... Still- I did do a deeper dive. A deeper dive. Mm-hmm. And I went into psychology today uh-huh. and eight reasons people cheat on someone they love. Okay. And this is from a psychologist who's been working with people who come to their office all the time. And that's one of the adultery is an issue. Uh, one, self-exploration to explore repressed parts of yourself. Insecurity. Sometimes cheaters struggle with self-esteem. Is this you? Uh, No. In, uh, the appeal of transgression. These cheaters are like children stealing a cookie their mother says they can't have. The forbidden That's probably nature. Me. <laughs> it's probably me. No cookie for you. Yeah. Um, unresolved early life trauma. Sometimes cheaters are reenacting or responding to unresolved childhood traumas, neglect, emotional abuse, physical abuse, sexual abuse. Um, the life not lived. That's the life that could have been. The lover that got away or the lover that never was drives the infidelity. The cheater is not unhappy with their current life, but they're curious about what their life might have been if they chose a different path. I think uh, Navy needs to cheat. Oh, don't do that. I think You're going to get him in trouble. No, we don't even right. know who that is. Stop, stop, stop. Um, wanting to feel intense emotions. Um, inter- inherent selfishness, entitlement. Some cheaters, despite loving their partner and enjoying their relationship, feel they deserve more. Rather than seeing their vow of fidelity as a sacrifice made to and for their relationship, they view it as something to be worked around. That could be you. It, it probably. I mean, look, I don't. I don't think it's that simple. I think that men are just designed that way. We're going to talk about that more, but we do have Ask Ye when we come back. Now, Mano is here. He says that he's a good advice giver. I am. Call up. Ask Ye anything. All right. I'm here today. And remember, every answer is not have a threesome, Mano, no, to no, every I would not. problem. <laughs> Why would you 800-292-5150. say that? 800-292-5150. Ask Ye next. <laughs> Whether it's relationship or career advice, Angela's dropping facts. No, you should, no, you should know. This is Ask Ye. All right, it is time for Ask Ye. It's way up with Angela Ye. Mano is here, yes, the great advice giver that he is. Eight hundred two nine two fifty one fifty is a number. Hello, who's this? Desiree. Okay, Desiree, what's your question? So I've been dating this guy. I really like him, but I don't feel like he prioritized me. He keeps saying he got a lot of stuff going on. What is the best way to like let go? Ooh, you want to let go. Mano, do not give that answer you're about no, to No, hold okay. on. You don't know. If, like, hold on, baby. Like, you don't know if he is not interested. You know, he's just busy. But he's pri- he's not prioritizing her. And we all know, he's like they say. He's not too busy. Mm-hmm. How many times a Nobody week do you see him? How many times a week do you see him? It's like three times every two weeks. Ooh, that's not a lot. That's, now, not, that's, that's not that bad. How far does he live? What? 
like 20 minutes. Oh, no. Come on, man. Oh, three times every two are y'all, are y'all in a relationship, though? Like, are y'all, are y'all just talking? No, we were in a relationship. Yeah, that's not a oh. relationship. If he lives 20 minutes away and you see him, what is he so busy doing? That Like, what is he saying? I don't got so many excuses. It's like, at this point, you know, don't give me your free time. Prioritize me. Like, Come mm-hmm. on, make it make sense. Maybe he want another girl. Like, bring him a- uh, see, Mayno, you, that is not the answer for every question. But, May- but Mayno, you can't even use that because he had that already. Whoa. See? Okay. Now we That's talking. Not okay. And once you open that door, Pen. do you think he's seeing other women? Um, At this point, I'm not sure. I don't think it's like off the table. Okay. I want to say this. If it's not working for you and what he, the effort that he's making is not enough for you, then this is not... The person, if he's not going to step up to the table and give you what you need, you don't have to settle. Absolutely. So you know what it is. And I, next time when he wants to, if he finally decides to come around and want to do something, I would act like I'm not even in a relationship at this point. You know, do whatever I feel like doing. And when he wants to see me, I'm busy. And I'm sure you've expressed to him numerous times what you need him to do, right? Yes. And if you tell somebody what I need you to do and they don't do it, then they don't care. I agree. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, you know what you need to Thank do, you. Desiree. You're yes, welcome. Thank you. Or what else could she do, Mayno? I told you what she could do, but she <laughs> said she already did it. <laughs> All right. Well, that was Asky. And when we come back, we have a last word. You guys always get the last word on Way Up with Angela Yee, 800-292-5150. Call us up. Leave a message. Pick up the phone. Tap in. Tap in to get your voice heard. What the word is. Here's the last word on Way Up with Angela Yee. Yes, it is Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee. And my host. That's right, BRF. My co-host, Mano is here with me. Blue my Mano. BRF, my best rapper friend. Yeah. I had a good time with you today, Mano. Man, we had a lot of fun today. Yeah. I'm glad you had a good fun night last night. Mm-hmm. Hold on. Whoa, whoa hold on. I'm saying you were at Chelsea House but I went with everybody. somewhere else after that. Okay. Oh, you I went out again. Out, yeah, I was, I was outside last night. Dang. So that vibe with me video is real. <laughs> You really be outside hey, partying. Live what you rap, right? Having a good time. All right. Well, we love to see it. Um, what's your plans for the weekend? Um, working. Me too. Moving Actually, around. I'm getting honored at my high school in Brooklyn. I want to get honored. You always get honored. <laughs> Every time I turn around, somebody's honoring you. Poly, I want to get honored. Polly Prep. I'll be there for our reunion weekend tomorrow. What are they, what are they giving you? Uh, a trophy? Some type of alumni uh, thing. Certificate. A trophy. <laughs> a trophy. <laughs> a trophy. I'm a, actually... Do you medal? have trophies at home? No, nah, not at all. Okay. I have a bowling trophy. Really? Mm-hmm. From you, third you, grade. Yeah, because now I've seen you bowl and it's, it's not really hitting. Okay. It's not given. And I also have a storytelling trophy. I won some storytelling contests in elementary school. Really? Yeah. You still tell the stories I wonder now. What them tro- I wonder where them trophies are. <laughs> what, time, what type of trophy would you win, man? Um. <laughs> Did I have a threesome trophy? <laughs> It'd be like you and two girls. <laughs> Definitely could possibly, Get back possibly, in your seat. <laughs> possibly could win that. Well, thank you to everybody for joining us today. And remember, treat your coworkers nice. If there's a party, invite them. Don't make people feel left out. Right. <laughs> invite them. <laughs> invite them. Yes. Uh, but y'all have a wonderful and safe weekend. We cannot wait to be back with you guys on a Monday. Um, 800 292 5150 is the number. Remember, over the weekend, you can always call us up and leave a message, and we will play it. So even if you're out and you're partying, maybe you want to take a moment, 800 292 5150, and leave a message so we can laugh. <laughs> And re- but it's no judgment up here on I Way mean, Up with Angela Yee. I do. All right, you guys have the last word. Hey, Yee. Um, I'm not going to leave my name because I just want to um, tell a secret that's been on me for a while. Um, I have a twin brother, and we're both married, and we got with these sisters, and they're twins. It was years ago. Um, but about three years ago, I was drunk. My brother's his wife was drunk. And we messed around and had a little thinking entanglement and she ended up getting pregnant. You know, of course the baby looked like us. So me and her knew what happened. So uh, secretly me and her went and got DNA test, DNA test done with the baby. And this our child, that's, uh, that's my son, but I call him my nephew. Hey y'all, so one, I love the show and I just wanted to get the secret off of my chest because I've been holding it in and I have not told anybody that I've done this. So there's a neighbor that stays across from my mom's house. He's a married man with kids. 
I went over his house one day to ask for some information, and he got my number, and let's just say one thing led to another. And yeah, that's all I had to say. Y'all have a great day, and don't judge me. Bye. Yeah, I had one of the shared secrets. Yeah, so I smashed my wife's cousin in our garage. It was wonderful. Hey, what's going on? I want to shine the light on my wife, Carla, my son, Jameson, a.k.a. JB. I want to shine the light on them because they've been really putting a lot of positivity in my life, making me grind harder, making me do what I got to do as a new father. So I want to shine the light on them because they're the best thing in my life right now. And without them, you know, I really don't know where I would be or what I would be doing. I love you, Peanut, JB. You're everything. You're my everything. And I love you, Carla, my chunky chunky. I love you guys to death. You're my world. You're my everything. My heartbeat. You're my first and last breath. Love y'all. Angela Yee is way up. On the way up.